It seems like the whole world is supporting Johnny Depp during one of the ugliest post-divorce processes in Hollywood history. But many celebs have yet to pick a side in this messy divorce, and Amber Heard has champions of her own. Depp's most vocal supporters have testified under oath that Johnny has never demonstrated the type of behavior Amber has blamed him for. Depp's BFF, Paul Bettany, is adamant that Johnny is innocent. He's the sweetest, kindest, gentlest man that I've ever known. Paul and Depp met in 2010 while working on The Tourist and have been very close ever since. Bethany accused Amber of being the bad guy. He never liked her and the feeling was mutual. Ms. Heard despised uh, Mr. Bethany. According to Depp's testimony, Amber hated Bethany so much she was even rude to his son. Ms. Heard demeaned that young man to the point of where he, where he, he burst into uh, tears. But some believe that Johnny is no angel either. Howard Stern didn't exactly defend Heard, but he's certainly not a fan of Johnny Depp. I think Johnny Depp is a huge narcissist. He figured, I'm so persuasive and because I'm so smart, I'm such a wonderful guy. You know, he's wrong. On the other hand, podcast host Joe Rogan is backing Depp 100%. He actually called Heard crazy and manipulative. This is a sentiment shared by other celebs. Sia tweeted her support of Depp after hearing that Amber admitted to becoming physically aggressive with the actor. The singer added that her definitely shows classic borderline behavior. And while some celebs are picking sides now, in the light of new evidence, there are those who always backed Johnny, even if they had their own heartbreaks with him. French actress and singer Vanessa Paradis was appalled by the accusations against her ex. The couple was together for 14 years, and Depp is the father of her two kids. She couldn't believe the man she loved would hurt someone. I'm aware of the allegations which Amber Heard has publicly accused Johnny of. This is nothing like the true Johnny I've known. Winona Ryder agrees. The actress called Johnny her first real love and first true heartbreak, but she immediately jumped to his defense. I cannot wrap my head around these accusations. I truly and honestly only know him as a good man, an incredibly loving, caring guy. Despite this, Heard managed to uncover one star witness against Johnny. Her name is Ellen Barkin, and she also once dated the actor. Contrary to Vanessa and Winona, Ellen admitted Depp had a dark side. There is always an air of violence around him. He's a yeller. He is verbally abusive. But when it came to Heard's exes, many netizens have pointed out that there's something fishy going on. At the start of the trial, it was rumored that James Franco and Elon Musk would be testifying since Amber was accused of seeing the man while married to Depp. Even though they denied this, James and Elon are instrumental to Heard's case. The actress testified that Franco once saw her bruised face, proving that Johnny had been aggressive. But according to different sources, James won't come to Amber's defense. Heard's supporters are now unsure if his refusal to testify is to protect the actress or to protect himself from being called a liar. Elon's lawyer confirmed that the billionaire isn't taking the stand either. Even though he offered to hire a security detail for Amber against Johnny, he won't be able to explain why to the judge. In their absence, Depp's support base seems even bigger, because he's also backed by several of his colleagues. Even though he was fired from two massive film franchises after Amber's claims, Depp's former co-stars have nothing but love for him. Kevin McNally, who worked on all five Pirates of the Caribbean films, refuses to believe the claims. I've never seen a hint of any dark side to Johnny. I see a great humanitarian and a beautiful human being. David Yates, the director of the Fantastic Beasts films, also struggled to accept the allegations. I can only tell you about the man I see every day. He's full of decency and kindness. Whatever accusation was out there doesn't tally with the kind of human being I've been working with. But their support wasn't enough to save Depp's job. Warner Brothers Pictures cut the actor from his two most famous franchises, and his admirers were devastated. In response, Depp's fans are trying to even the score by getting Amber booted from the Aquaman franchise. Three years ago, a petition was created calling for her to be fired. In the first few months, over 45,000 people signed. But since the couple's most recent hearing, over 3 million people have added their voices to the cause. Surprisingly, while the number of signatures increases, Amber's Aquaman co-star, Jason Momoa, hasn't publicly said anything to support his colleague. The actress's fans expected Jason to be Team Amber, as these two became close while filming. Instead, Momoa started following Johnny on social media at the start of the trial. 
For the media and Team Dap, this is a clear way to stand with Johnny. After he was fired, several celebs filed statements of support. Penelope Cruz considers Johnny a great friend and kind person. I've seen Johnny in so many situations and he is always kind to everyone around. Her husband, Javier Bardem, has known Johnny for three decades and never witnessed bad behavior. He was generous and caring and nice and he hasn't changed a bit. I stand by Johnny. Unlike Depp, Amber has very few colleagues to vouch for her. Only her acting coach, Christy Sexton, has spoken up. Sexton admitted to seeing the aftermath of a supposed fight between the couple. Even Amber's former personal assistant, Kate James, is Team Dap. She explained that her ex-boss was self-indulgent and mean-spirited. She screamed at me once in person, multiple times screaming at me over the phone, barrages of abusive um, text messages, a chat, put her face approximately four inches from my face. She was spitting in my face. And a famous divorce lawyer, Laura Wasser, who worked on cases of Jolie Pitt and Kardashian West, testified that Amber's behavior was manipulative and greedy. But Hurd is supported by a handful of friends. She reportedly has Evan Rachel Wood in her corner. However, one of Amber's most vocal acquaintances, Raquel Pennington, has been called an unreliable source. That's because she lived in a house that Johnny owned for two years without ever paying rent. And she's backing her friend Amber for that. Hurd initially had a lot of support from feminists across the world. They praised her for her strength in telling her story. Yet as more details and recordings emerge, that support is waning. Because Amber has been caught in a huge lie. A makeup company called Milani shared a video condemning the actress. Witnesses denied seeing Amber bruised after alleged altercations. But Hurd's lawyer said the actress never left home without makeup. Hurd's favorite was a concealer by Milani. However, the cosmetics company released a video explaining that Hurd couldn't have used their makeup because at the time of their claims, it didn't exist. It was only sold a year later. This was the deciding factor for many of Hurd's feminist support base, and now they're standing with Dap instead. As a result, a large part of Hurd's defenders are people the actress has never met. And shockingly, it was revealed that numerous social media accounts backing the actress are fake and managed by bots. All of this makes it difficult to know who's telling the truth. Thankfully, that's a job for the courts and not for us. But until we discover the whole truth, are you Team Johnny or Team Amber?